Hi guys, Jamie here with another movie zoo tutorial. Today we're going to talk about object import. Oh, what I meant to say was importing objects with collision. You can't see it, but when you get it wrong, you really feel it. What you want to do is go back to moviezoo.com and uh, you want to go to gallery. 3D Assets, and here you'll find a link to download the ASE Exporter for SketchUp. So, click this link, and it will open as a, a text file. We want to then do Save As, Save As MovieZoo ASE Exporter, Save. What we want to do is go to our Downloads folder, and we want to take the MovieZoo ASE Exporter file, we want to copy it, and we then want to go to C, Program Files, Google, Google SketchUp 8, Plugins, and we then want to paste the plugin into this folder. Now it's probably going to ask you for admin permissions, so click Continue. And once it's in this folder, that's it. Now for the exciting part, uh, we're going to use SketchUp here and we have made a little model of a staircase and this is what we're going to import into MovieZoo. Now we're going to do two models, the first is not going to have any collision and the second will have collision. So if we were to go to Plugins, MovieZoo ASE Exporter, what it tells you is there's no components in your SketchUp model to export. This is because the plugin is expecting to find a component within SketchUp that it will be able to export. To make a component, select all of your model, right click on it and do make component. So we'll give it a name and we'll call it basic staircase. And there we go. We now have a solid staircase component. Uh, now a top tip here is to set the rotation point of your object before you export it. And an easy way to do that is just draw a little X on the bottom of your model, just to give you the center point. Deselect your component, and then select it as a component as a whole. Right click and change the axis. You can see the axis is over in this corner here. So we'll just put it here in the center, align it for the red axis and the green axis. If we go back to change axes, you can see that the rotation point is nicely in the center, and this is where it will rotate once we get it into MovieZoo. So now what we need to do is apply a texture to this model. So let's go to paint, and as you can see I've set up a no collision texture already. We uh, save this, and call it no collision. And then if we go back to SketchUp, click our paint bucket, and click the Add button. Select File, and there we go. No collision. Select this, and say OK. We then want to select and edit our staircase component. Select all of the faces. Select your texture, and you get the paint bucket icon, and then just apply it. Now. For the sake of clarity, once we get it into MovieZoo, I'm just going to adjust this texture here so it's nice and clear. There we go. Okay, so we now have our no collision model set up and ready to export. So I'm going to go to Plugins, MovieZoo ASE Exporter, Export ASE Format, and Basic Staircase. And we want to set the collision to None MovieZoo Generated. And we want to just change the name, Staircase No Collision. Say OK. And save. So that's our, our first object exported, the staircase with no collision. Now what we want to do is add collision to this staircase. What we'll do the first of all is uh, we'll just set up our textures here. So we'll go back to Paint, 
and let's just clear this and we'll go for green as a background colour and let me just write yes collision okay and let's save this file yes collision and going back to SketchUp click the add button import your texture and we then want to select a component double click to edit and select our texture and again we'll just sort this side so it's nice and big okay now the final step is to make our collision let's just do a copy and paste of this component okay now we can edit this one thing you can notice is that components are linked in SketchUp when you copy and paste them. You can see that the, the same face on both components has been selected. Now if we deselect everything, we take this one, right click on it and do make unique. This gives us a, a unique component and as you can see the face is no longer selected between the two. Now, for collision, we don't actually need any texture. So let's just explode this, edit the entity info, and remove all the texture from this object here. Let's just um, select it all again, make it a component, staircase, collision. And now another benefit of having this X on the bottom is it lets us line everything up. So first of all, let me just check the axis. It's back in this corner. So we'll set that again. Okay. And uh, it's quite important that we get them at the same point. So we use our move tool, select the midpoint, and put the two together. Okay, so this is our setup. We now have our object and collision. So we go back to plugins, MovieZoo ASE exporter, export ASE, and for the model we want the basic staircase and the collision as staircase collision. I'll just rename this staircase with collision. Click OK and save. So there we go, we now have one model without collision and one model with collision. Okay, so the final step is to import our objects. So let's just go for the one without collision first of all. Staircase no collision. We don't need to change any settings, we're just using the, the default here. Okay. And here we go, no collision. And now import staircase with collision. Okay, so we now have both of our objects. And let's just see, see how they work. So, as you can see, the character on the one without collision is not actually standing on the step. Quite a way above. If we move him over to, yes, collision. Oop, there we go. He's standing on the step. Not only that, but he will stand on each step. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you with your modeling for MovieZoo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. See ya.